Look at that scarf. Imagine that. Woo! Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday today, and we are at Horsham Station, heading down to Brighton. This is like deja vu of last Sunday. Did we do that last Sunday? Yeah, when it snowed. That was nice. Mm. Was that Sunday? Yes, it was. We are going down to do a little bit of Christmas shopping that we've been thinking about since last Sunday. And also, we're going to go and find a nice sporty pub to watch the World Cup final in with a pint of Guinness. <laughs> We've made it to Brighton. We just got ourselves a coffee to warm us up. And we're just heading into town to do our shopping bits first to get that out of the way before we go and find a pub to settle down in. But it's really, ah, really horrible weather today. Oh, you said and... <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. After a lot of train delays, Elliot and I are finally home. It was a lovely day. I actually quite enjoyed the football. Elliot and I were planning on um, cleaning the house when we got back today because we were expecting to get back a lot earlier than it currently is because it is actually um, 8.40 now. So we're just going to put that off. I'm going to do it tomorrow while he's at work. And we're going to have a chilled evening doing our own thing now. I've just had a shower to try and warm myself up, which hasn't worked very well. And I feel like I've got heartburn as well. So I've got out this... Um, hilarious hot water bottle that mum got me a couple of years ago for Christmas. Actually, maybe Craig bought this for me. I'm just going to top this up and then I'm going to take it to bed with me and just snuggle into it until I feel of normal human temperature. Okay, we're rocking and rolling. Good morning. It is Monday and it's 10 o'clock in the morning. I have just cleaned the whole house so I'm feeling really good. It puts me in such a good mood when the house is nice and clean. I'm feeling like, mm. I've just done a wash and the dishwasher's on. I'm just waiting for the door on the washing machine to ping open and then I'm going to hang the washing. I'm going to head to Lidl but also Sainsbury's for the things that Lidl might not have um, because today is the day that I'm going to start with my chutney making which is what I'm doing everybody for Christmas this year instead of buying many presents. So it's been a productive day so far. I'm dressed like the rock today. I've got, um, <laughs> all that I'm missing is a, a gold chain and I think I'd, I'd be nailing the outfit. I'm just putting together my shopping list of ingredients and I'm really confusing myself because I'm making like three or four different types of chutney which all need their own ingredients, some of which I have, some of which I don't, but some of them have the same ingredients so I'm having to like add all the quantities together to make sure that I'm gonna have enough for all the different types. So it's scrambling my brain a little bit, but we're getting there. I have been to Lidl and to Sainsbury's and I've got all the ingredients for two different types of chutney as well as the ingredients for a little sprout dish that I'd like to try tonight as a trial run before I do it on Christmas Day. So, um, lots going on here. <laughs> so the first chutney that I'm making is a spiced carrot and garlic chutney which I've done once before and it was delicious. Um, but this one requires like a 24 hour marinade. Um, so I'm going to set that up now. I'm then going to go to Crawley do what I need to do in Crawley. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna make the second type of chutney, which is gonna be a pear and apricot chutney. And then, <laughs> and then I'm gonna make the sprout dish. So lots of cooking today. First batch done. So this is basically like carrot, vinegar, and a few spices. And that's gonna soak overnight, let out all the good juicy, juicy, juicies. And this is the second chutney, all prepped and ready to go, but I'm not putting that on just yet. Hello, it is Wednesday. I have not vlogged for the last day and a half because 
95% of my brain has been filled with chutney and um, it just wasn't interesting and I was just getting stressed so I didn't vlog it but I thought I'd just catch you up on what I've done over the last day and a half. I've done three batches of chutney so far. Here we have got pear and apricot, spiced carrot and garlic and then yesterday's edition was the mango chutney which Elliot says is the best mango chutney he's ever had. Um, I also decorated all these jars with cloves, no wait, not cloves star anise and my handmade salt dough decorations so they're looking cute and i'm currently working on the fourth chutney which is hopefully the last one the reason i did chutneys this year was because i wanted to save some money i wanted to do like a handmade christmas i thought that'd be more thoughtful than just buying people presents they potentially don't want the cost of ingredients of these chutneys has outweighed any presents i would have bought including like the like energy crisis we're in the hob has been on gas for like the last 24 hours. So it's not great, I won't be doing this again. Anyway, that was the first thing. Um, the second thing is I did my Christmas nails. I did them sparkly and white, ready for my uh, staff Christmas party tonight. I also, this year, have made everybody crackers instead of buying crackers. Mum was like, Harriet, you're in charge of crackers this year. I was like, so no more, mummy. So um, what I've done, basically there's 10 of us. I made the cracker, like cut the net out, folded it. I diamonded everybody's initials on, although Elliot's is missing a diamond. Oops. I have stuffed them with loads and loads of goodies. And then I'm just waiting, Louise has got the snaps for them, so I need to put the snaps in and then um, they are ready to go on Christmas Day, so there's 10 of those. The next thing is that I received this dress from eBay that I bought. Um, it's actually from Warehouse, it was £180, but I got it for 20 which is ridiculous. There are some sequins missing. But I actually bought this for my birthday, but I'm going to wear it to my Christmas party tonight, which I love. I did some wrapping the other night, so this is my wrapping this year, always brown paper, love it. I went for like a red and white twine, and then these tags I made from last year's Christmas cards, so they are looking cool. And then last but not least, last night I started cross-stitching a bookmark of myself, which is going to be your present for Christmas next year. Whoa! <laughs> I bet you can't wait. <sighs> So that is what I have been up to, um, and like I said, I'm currently working on my fourth chutney. I'm really pleased that this one is a different colour. So far, the other three are all orange, so I'm pleased to finally be doing a red one. This is a Christmas chutney, so it's got cranberries, apples, loads of different spices and stuff. The first line of the recipe said that I needed a muslin cloth to put these spices in, but who has a muslin cloth, honestly? So um, I just decided to put them in a sieve and then balance them in there, and so far, that seems to be a good technique, so my problem-solving brain has not failed me today. Wow, this one is really smelling like Christmas. I think this might be the most popular. I'm glad I did a double batch on this one. <laughs> I just hope I've got enough jars now. Nine jars that was, which is great. Aww, they look lovely. Good. It is a couple of hours later now, and I've just got ready to go to my work Christmas party. How cute is this dress? Oh my god, it's so adorable. I can't believe I got it for 20 quid. And I've decided to wear it with loafers instead of boots. I was going to go for boots, but Elliot said my legs look longer, believe it or not, in the loafers. Um, so that's what we're going with. And I would wear heels, but um, I just can't be bothered. Cute. Right, I think I'm ready to go. I'm heading to Mum's first to drop off my overnight bag. And then um, hopefully Mum will give me a lift down to the venue that we're going to. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so I'm going to say goodbye here. Thanks very much for watching this choppy, many-day vlog. And I'll see you again very soon. Good night.